It's a championship game. Team Brandon is up by three points. Ten seconds left on the clock. It looks as if Eric is going to have to pull a miracle if he wants to win this game. The ball is hiked. Where's he going? Where's he going? The pass. Touchdown. Eric wins. Eric wins. And Team Brandon will go home with nothing but the taste of defeat. Lucky catch. Psst. All I hear is the sound of defeat. And, well, that's it for me. I'm calling it an early night, but... All right, bud. <sighs> Oh, I have some work to do, but I'm going to need something to drink. I'll be quiet coming back in, though. All right, well, just knock first, because I'm going to get changed. <laughs> oh, hey, buddy. Hey. How's it going? Not too bad, man. Just been busy. Oh, really? What have you been doing? Uh, just a whole lot. I'm actually on my way out, so I'll talk to you later. Yeah, okay. See you later. Another milkshake. Chocolate. I think maybe you've had enough. I'll tell you when I had enough. I've been working at this counter for a long time. I've heard lots of problems. Maybe you can tell me yours. Maybe I can help. I saw my roommate. Naked. We don't want your kind around here, you sick weirdo! Then he hit me with a chair, and and that's when I discovered why they don't taste like apple. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Crosby. We have a new visitor. Would you like to join us? We're all friends here. My name is Brandon. Hello, Brandon. Hello, Brandon. 
First time I remember, I was I was being born and they slapped me and I screamed. And then someone opened a two liter of pop and they put it back in the fridge and it lost its carbonation. And I was six and my mom lost me in an amusement park. So I went to a carny. He's like, hey, how you doing? And I'm like, I'm good. And then I ran away because he took off his pants. My shoes were untied one time. And someone went, hey, your shoes are tied. And they're like, aha, it's a joke. And I laughed really hard. And when I was 13, I pushed my sister down some stairs and I blamed it on the dog. And my dog's like, no, I didn't. And then there's this, this box. And you would you do this. And he goes, dun, 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 It scared me because it popped out. I went to McDonald's. I asked for a Diet Coke. And they gave me a record. When I was sleeping, my sister came and was like, Brandon, are you awake? I'm like, uh. Like, Brandon, are you awake? Uh. Brandon, are you awake? So I shot her in the face. She's dead now. I went to the, it was in winter, and I was about four years old, and I stuck my tongue to the, the flagpole, and it didn't stick. And then last night, I was playing PlayStation with my roommate. I went out of the room for a minute, and I came back, and he was naked. <gasps> I've been wandering around the city all night, trying to get that image out of my head. I can't do it. I just can't do it. Great job, Brandon. Doesn't it feel good to get it all out? Yeah, it does. Thank you. Okay, who's next? Hi, my name's Pam. Hi, Pam. Hi, Pam, Pam. Pam. Ever since I was a little child, I can never stick to anything. Hey there. Hello. Coffee? Uh, no thanks. I couldn't help but remember to hear your story. Years ago, the same thing happened to me. Really? How did you deal? I didn't. I gave up. The puzzle is, my life was broken. I never saw my roommate again. I stopped going to class. I got kicked out of school. My whole life was a disappointment. Don't let this happen to you. Go back and sort this out. I don't know how. No excuse. Go. Go now. I will. I'll go. You go now. Godspeed, my friend. Godspeed. Play some men? Sure, man. Hi, I'm Zach Denardi, and you just saw me portray the character Brandon in this funny comedy. But there is a serious issue at hand. There are over 20,000 reported incidents of naked roommates alone in the United States. And that is a serious problem. If you or anyone else that you know might have had this happen to you, please call 1-800-867-5309. Together, we can fight the hurt.